What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rex, coming with a reaction. I'm about to show these reactors how to react. You know what I mean? Because they're talking about holding crowns and did down for the did down and cur down and don't even know how to spell now. But this is coming to you live right now. This is a song that Kenny Reacts dissed me on. And I'm going to give you the full breakdown. So welcome to the show. Let's get to it. You hear me? I'm going to break this motherfucker down. Show him how to break some bars down. You ain't wrecking shit. You just David fucking Craig, bitch. Pause. Pause. Bro, you had to cut. I'm just David Craig. That's funny. He, he, he calls me by my within two seconds of the first song. I'm not wrecking shit. Actually, I am. I'm, this is what I do. I do this for a living. You know what I mean? I do this, right? Then you're going to call me David Craig by my real name. Oh, my God. Kenneth, Kenneth McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Whatever the f McLaughlin, whatever the fuck your name is, you're gonna try to dox me. I don't give a fuck if people know my real name is David Craig, middle name Lee. There's five of us. Good luck finding out which one we are. Let's move on. <laughs> are you sick? Because the <laughs> sounds like you're sick, bro. <laughs> Better check your stizzance. Make you piss your pizzance. Better check your stizzance. Stizzance. Make you piss your pizzance. Like stiz. So he's trying to say, better check your stance and check your pants. Make you piss your pants. I'm not pissing my pants. I'm a grown ass man. Not worried one bit. I'm just trying to figure out how. He jumps into it and wants to try to pull a New York Jay Z Little Wayne slang to it. Let's just go back. I, we ain't worried about that. That that shit means nothing. Ain't nobody pissing their pants over Kenny reacts. Hey, yo. Better check your sisters. Make you piss your pisses. Rex, you a bitch. You ain't shit but a pisshead. Rex, you ain't shit but a pisshead. That that means I'm a small piss ant that I'm annoying, uh, that I bite. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't understand why he's trying to call somebody a bitch. Uh, I ain't never been a bitch in my life. Check the resume, dog. So far, it's all talk, no receipts. It's one of the Check your scissors, make you piss your pisses. Rex, you a bitch, you ain't shit, but a pisshead. I only do the shit just to prove that you kiss it. I be mixed. Hey, what's up with the kizant? Kizant, pissant, sizant. Get away from the fucking Jay Z bullshit, bro. Come on, you ain't Jay Z. Make you piss your pisses. Rex, you a bitch, you ain't shit, but a pisshead. I only do the shit just to prove that you kiss it. I be making moves while you lose, not to. You be making moves while I lose. Please tell me what moves you're making, okay? Haven't seen you make any moves. Haven't seen you do anything, really, except for nothing. I haven't seen you do nothing. Um, I'm trying to... I got it. I know what moves you're talking about making. You're moving from Ryan's house to your mama's house and back and forth because they keep kicking you out. Got it. Fuck yeah. Okay. Run it back so we can hear the music part again. The prove that you kiss it. I've been making moves while you lose, not just listen. I bet your wife back probably hurt from carrying your ass or only regretting. Oh, my, I bet you your wife's back hurts. Okay, let's go. I bet your wife's back probably hurt from carrying your ass. Her only regret in life is marrying your ass. Now you fuck. Her only regret in life is marrying my ass. Baby! What? Do you regret marrying me? No. Say it louder. No. Do you love me? Yeah. Fuck yeah, you do. All right, let's run it back. Probably hurt from carrying your ass. Her only regret in life is marrying your ass. Now you fuck around and finna get slaughtered up on this mic. How come you would? I'm finna fuck around and get slaughtered on this mic. First off, dog, let me explain something to everybody out there watching today. My name is Rex. 
and this is Kenny Reacts rapping, dissing me, right? And what's funny is he's going to slaughter me on a mic. That's an Audio Tech 2020 mic. Um, that's a cheap-ass mic, bro. I bought that mic in early 2002. I bought it in early 2002, right, for 100 bucks, brand new. Uh, and I gave it to him. Because he was using the $50 mic, so I felt sorry for him. So I'm like, here, bro, I got you something. The headphones he's using, Audio Tech 40, M MTX 40s, great headphones. A little bit worn out, but great headphones. I gave them to him. Them were dope-ass headphones. Don't get me lying. I, my favorite pair, man, bro, I recorded a lot of hits with that. With them headphones, I don't think he ever will, though. Alright, let's run it. Your ass are only regretting life. It's Mary in your ass. Now you fuck around and finna get sorted up on this mic. How come you ain't capable of supporting daughter and wife? This is where he fucked up. So we this motherfucker gonna mention this. Daughter and wife. You see this little girl's face? You see how she looks like me? I will kill over this kid. Don't get it twisted. Friendship, foe, doesn't matter. Games, playing, whatever. Keep my goddamn kids at your mouth. Simple as that. Moving on. All right. Up on this mic, how come you ain't capable of supporting daughter and wife? That's the example daddy made. Had through this tag at me. That's why he chose. That's the example that daddy made. Hold on, let's run it back. I didn't, that's daddy made. I threw this bag at me. That's why. That's the example that daddy made. Something. The example daddy made. I threw this bag at me. That's why he chose. I do this faggot made. What? The example daddy made. I threw this bag at me. That's why he chose a dude over your whole family. And okay. So. That's the example that daddy made. Something about a faggot. Um. And he chose a dude over his entire family is what he's trying to say, right? Quick story, backtracking. My dad's gay. I told him that. I told him my dad was gay. Now, he said that he left for another man. No, my mom left my father because my father was gay. My mother was wild. And my father was molesting his son. So, uh, and I'm the bad, I'm the bad guy. Remember that he's talking about a gay man that molested his own child in a song. Cool. And he's comparing me to that. Mm, not, not, no, no, no. Let's run it back though. Dude is at me. That's why he chose a dude over your whole family. And not only protection from someone passive aggressive, someone passes as a weapon. I'm about to teach him a lesson. You ain't never been up against it. I like how he used my Smith and Wesson line and carried it over about the weapons and the Smith and Wesson. He carried it over with the same. That that was pretty dope. I dig that. All right, let's run it back. That's a weapon. I'm about to teach him a lesson. You ain't never been up against an opponent. Dope is me. Why you joking and poking? They realize you provoking me. You just. While I'm joking and poking, I don't realize that I'm provoking him. Right? I'm provoking Kenny Reacts. Hmm. While I'm joking and poking, I'm provoking him. Bro, I wonder what his, I wonder what it would be like if somebody was actually scared to provoke him. No, I really don't. Let's move Joking on. Joking and poking, they realize you provoking me. You just a fan. I can't even react, stand, and what it wanted to be me so bad. I'm just a Kenny, a, a fan. A Kenny react, stand. This motherfucker, man. Woo! Boy, you couldn't bite any more lines from Eminem. You, you need to get off of Eminem's nuts, first off. Second of all, I'm not a Kenny Reacts fan. Never have been. Uh, 
to be honest, my whole intention with you was to push you and make you better to where you could get fans. But I'm not a fan. And I'm not a stan. Because I could care less. It just makes no, that that bar makes no sense. Let's run it back though and finish it out. And he reacts, stand and what it wanted to be me so bad you went and got a man bun. Recognition. I wanted to be him so bad I went and got a man bun, yo. Let me make sure this looks good on camera while I do this. Look at that. Hold on. Let me get that brush out. Yeah. Let me brush my hair real quick. Oh, man. It's tough. What about a man bun, bro? Look, I have hair everywhere. What about a man bun? All right, let's get, let me, can't be doing this no more. Gotta get that, get that swag back going. Get that, yeah, there we go. All right, fuck yeah. All right, now we gotta put these back on. All right, but I got a man bun, y'all. I, I, I'm such a Kenny Reacts fan that I'm a stan, and I went and got a man bun. Fuck out of here. I can't even More Eminem bars, by the way. Yeah, stand and what it wanted to be me so bad you went and got a man bun. Recognition can't rap like this because all you put out is trash. Salty as Recognition can't rap like this because all I put out is trash. Hmm. All I put out is trash. Um, That's more false information. All I put out is hits. Uh, Everybody knows my shit's just... Banging, but we'll continue. Fuck, cause I continued on my class, and you can say that I'm lying, oh, but you call oh, me crying. Oh. I say that I'm lying, cause I continued on my class. Trash, salty as fuck, cause I continued on Cause all you put out trash, salty as fuck, cause I continued on my class, and you can say that I'm lying, but you this cause all you put out trash, salty as fuck, cause I continued on my class, and you can salty as fuck. He didn't even say you're salty as fuck, he said salty as fuck because he continued on with class. Do I look salty? Class was the death of you, bro. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, not only is class the death of you, bro. He, he used you. Right? He moved you into his house. He used you to recording. You recorded him. Then his girl kicked you the fuck out. Blamed it on some bullshit. Just kicked you the fuck out. Just like your mom and Ryan do. And they just kick you the fuck out. Those moves you're making, right? You you moved to his house and got kicked the fuck out too. And you're hyping him up like he's something special. But yet I know class talks behind my back. He's, he, I mean, come on. The fucking guy said Hip Hop Baby was whack. That goes to show that he's a fucking retard. Um, so... Whatever, let's let's run it back because you continued on with class, and I'm mad because of that. And yeah, I'm mad because I continued on with class. And you can say that I'm lying, but you call me crying. How Ryan wouldn't send your ass five hundred dollars in cash? Run it back. I, I do like that. I love that right there. Crying how Ryan wouldn't. Oh, run it back a little bit more. Hold on. I'm lying, but you call me crying. How Ryan wouldn't say. I love how he said crying because and you call me lying. I love how he did that little scheme there. That was dope. And then he ended it with Ryan too. See, I got this thing, right? It's called evidence. You got you got to present evidence when it comes to stuff like that. He's talking about me but trying to bum $500 from Ryan. Did your ass $500 in cash. Yeah, in cash, okay? So me bumming, come with receipts. Because there's nobody in history that has receipts of me bumming. Now, with the Ryan thing, let me explain this. The thing is, is Ryan hit the settlement, right? Ryan's like, oh, I got this million dollars, whatever the fuck it was, right? And I'm just blowing through it. I, I call people out on bullshit. I call them out. Like, shit, you got a million dollars, hook me up with 500. Class, class was the one bumming, by the way. We'll just go back to that. But I was like, oh, yeah, you got it like that? Well, hook me up with $500. Nobody in history, and I know a lot of motherfuckers with money, 
goes to DJ Trick had money, Clint had money, all these people had money. Ain't nobody in history ever heard of me bumming a damn dime from them, right? But when you come up and you're like, I got a million dollar shit, throw some my way, let's see. Never did. Always claimed he would, but never did, right? So that's my way of calling you out on bullshit, right? Oh, he's going to pay for this. He's going to pay for that. Bro, that's not bumming. That's calling you out on bullshit. That's what it is. Let's run it back. Yo, ass my hundred dollars in cash. How you got all of these side jobs and you still broke? Can't even afford a pack of some. How you still smoke? Tina says she's tired. Oh, wow. I got all these side jobs, which I do have a lot of side jobs. Hell, I was just painting yesterday. Did a wall fish yesterday, painted a house yesterday. Uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of side jobs. I got a, plenty of apartments to paint. You know, you know, I got side jobs because when you were trying to move down here, I told you I got you covered and I'd have you painting and doing side jobs to make money, right? Till you can get on your feet. That, that was ho so horrible of me to be a friend. Bro can't even afford a pack of some how you still smoke. Oh. Tina's bro can't even afford. No. Nope. How you got all of these side jobs and you still bro can't even afford a pack of some how you still smoke. Can't. Uh, I'm still broke. By the way, I just bought some uh, Yamaha, or not Yamaha, Adam 8s, but I'm still broke. Uh I'm confused at what he's saying after. Packing some how you still smoke. Tina says she's tired of something about packet. What? Then you still broke. Can't even afford a packet. Some how you still smoke. Can't even afford a packets. Why you still smoke? I smoke. I smoke. Let's see. And you still broke, can't even afford a packet. Some how you still smoke. Tina says she's tired of you bumming all the sick. And he says, Tina, this is, this is my favorite part, right? So I have cigarettes. I got three packs, actually. There's two more in there. Baby! 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 What? Bring me a cigarette! Bring me a cigarette! I'm here now. I need a cigarette! Bring, bring me a cigarette! Have Katie bring me a cigarette. Well, bring me a cigarette. Quit bullshitting. Come on. I'm live, man. I can't get up. I gotta. I got. I need a cigarette. Hello, baby. Damn, David. The fuck? The fuck? I need a cigarette. Got your own. Thank you. She said I got my own. And she still gave me one of hers. It's nice every now and then to go from menthol to full flavor. Thank you! Tina says she's tired of you bumming all the six Man, to fuck up and get a real job instead of all these gigs. The next time that you did somebody, try to make it through. So I, he said, uh, he said, well, well, let me run that back real quick because he said something very important there. He said, next time that you did somebody, try to make it through. What'd he say? Not that. Up and get a real job instead. Get up and get a real job instead of all these gigs. First off, what is considered a real job? A real job is when you go to work and you make money okay and when i go to work i make money that's a real job if i go work for tom and tom pays me and i do his job that's that's a real job when i get paid same thing when i go work for lucy lucy i work for her i get her job done i get paid that's a real job bro just because you call it a gig like it's a fucking sideshow of a fucking music thing? No, bro. It's real money that I'm getting paid. It's real money. When Don, Don, uh, <clears throat> when Trick paid me 
to do his Jeep. I did his Jeep. When Clint paid me to fix his car, I fixed his car. When Clint paid me to fix his Jeep, I fixed his Jeep. I, I fix things. It's what I do, bro. I can't help it. You're not as talented as me. When Kenny Reacts calls, this is <laughs> Rex, my computer won't work. What do I do? That's not a job because your broke ass don't pay me, bitch. Get up all these gigs. The next time that you did somebody, try to make it thrillable. Do you even know what it means to count the syllables? No one agrees. Thrillable and syllables. Yes, he says, at least make it thrillable. And do I even know syllables? Syllables is simple. It's one, two, three, four. Then it goes one and two and three and four. And then it goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Them are syllables. There's 16 notes in one bar, right? Now, that 16 can be pushed to 32. That six, that 32 can be pushed to 64. That 64 can be pushed to 180. If you're fast enough, you can get 100 or 128. You can get 128 words in one bar if you're fast enough. But Typically, nobody on earth really is fast enough to put 128 words in one bar. So do I know what syllables are? Hmm. Yeah, I do. I do. I do know what syllables are. 100%. With the fucking word that you utter when you jump up on my live and make fun of someone who stutters, and that just goes to show what type of piece of shit you are. Uh, uh, who stutters, run it back. And that just goes to show what type of piece of shit you are. Run it back. With the fucking word that you utter when you jump up. The words that I utter. Hold on. What it means to count the syllables. No one agrees with the fucking word that you utter when you jump up on. No one agrees with the words that I utter. The, the only word in America that this man could come up with the rhyme was stutter. My life and make fun of someone who stutters, and that just goes to show what type of piece of shit you. So that goes to show what type of piece of shit I am. It's because I make fun of a guy that goes. I'm a piece of shit. Okay, I'm a I'm a piece of shit because I make fun of a guy that stutters. First off. The guy that stutters says, I rap slow. Well, I don't rap slow. I, I kind of got a faster pace to rap whenever I rap. So slow in his definition, coming from a retard, would mean uh, he's saying I'm retarded, right? So when he says my raps are retarded, that's what I flipped that over to. That's putting yourself in the line of fire. You, just because you've got a handicap don't mean... That you, I'm going to take it easy on you. If you got a stuttering problem, oh, don't talk, call somebody retarded. The only people that hate the word retarded are those that are retarded. Kenny, Kenny. And then <clears throat> he wants to talk about how much of a piece of shit I am. Greatest part, he says, and it goes to show what kind of a piece of shit you are. Well, listen to here, son. I talk about a motherfucker that stutters. Right? I, I, I talk about a motherfuckers and stutters. In this song, you literally talk about a child that got raped by his father. So who's the real piece of shit? Okay? Let's clarify that. I talk about somebody that stutters. You talk about a kid. An innocent kid that gets raped by his father. Hmm. I wonder who's the piece of shit in this. Let's run it back. Of someone who stutters, and that just goes to show what type of piece of shit you are. At least General Jameson know how to spit some bars. I got. At least General Jameson knows how to spit some bars. Cause, cause, cause he can't stop fucking spitting when he talks. Tarted motherfucker. Two years of aggression built up and I'ma release it. I got some shit on my mind in this time. Two years of aggression built up and I'ma release it. I got some shit on my mind in this time that I speak it. He's got two years of aggression built up. And he's ready to release it. Look, bro, you ain't nothing on me, son. It's probably been two years since he's actually, you know, with the whole catfishing thing he's got going on in the background there with Jamie. You know, that's still happening. So... 
So he's got two years built up of testosterone, and he wants to release it on me. Why are you trying to be dirty, Kenny? Why are you trying to be dirty? I bet you're thinking about it in the shower while you listen to this song. Just go. <laughs> Run it back. Fuck. I got some shit on my mind and it's time that I speak it First DJ trick and then it was a deacon Country rap heavyweight soon started to weaken Tina Smith First it was a DJ trick and then it was a deacon Country rap heavyweight started weaken Well, so country rap heavyweights folded because of everybody backing out The lazy ass artists like Kenny Reacts uh, Not doing their part Everybody wants free shit, but nobody wants to work for it. Uh, that's all I'll say about that, because I just got a text message yesterday from Kenny. When are you releasing All Eyes on Me? <laughs> when am I getting the fucking artwork? When am I getting the pictures? When am I getting the fucking pictures from all these artists to release these songs that are done? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Country rap heavyweight soon started to weaken. Tina Smith tone and Kush felt like you cheat them. This motherfucker said Tina Smith tone and Kush. I tried. I I tried to cheat them. <laughs> this motherfucker's retarded. <laughs> Oh my Tina Smith tone in uh Kush. I tried to cheat them. I tried to cheat him. How did I try to cheat him, sir? Uh I really ain't got nothing bad to say about Tina. You know, she's a little she's a female. She's a little bit hyped up, but you know, she gets in her feelings from time to time. I'm okay with it. But uh we had a great song we never got to put out. That's fine. I don't know how I tried to cheat her. Um, Tone the Bone had uh, a couple whack ass verses. I mean, Mono Tone the Bone for real. I was like, well, I'm glad I ain't got to put those fucking things out. So those, those, those were man. I, I got saved with that one. Mono Tone the Bone like a motherfucker. And then King Kush. I never even did anything with King Kush. I never even King Kush just came out of nowhere because of you actually. I never said I'd even do a song with King Kush. And now, with him say, mentioning these names, Deacon, Paw Paw. And it's so funny, too, that he mentions Deacon and Paw Paw. When Deacon and Paw Paw was talking about Camel Toe Kenny in a song, and now he's shouting Deacon and Paw Paw out like they're going to do something with him because he dissed me. Uh, that's clout chasing at its finest right there. And then I guess he's out, out to try to do something with Tina and Tone. When this man literally... All his beef started with Tone. I mean, I never really even had no real beef with Tone. He was just friends with Kush. And, uh, yeah, zero, zero real beef with Tone. I had zero real beef with Kush. That was more you versus Kush and Tone. I was just a bystander. That was fine with the what was going on there, right? So that was pretty cool. But now I can see what you're doing. You're doing what you do on the reactions. Like, hey, can I get a feature? I dissed Rex. That's what you're trying to do. I can I can already hear it. Let's run it back. Let's hear them names again. Let's hear them names again, dog. We soon started to weaken. Tina Smith's tone and Kush felt like you cheated them. Eventually, at some point, you started to pull me in. And before I knew it, everyone in. I pulled him in. Oh, my God. This man said I pulled him in. I, he just said... He had the beef, but I pulled him into the beef with Kush and Tone. Let's run it back so we hear this shit again, y'all. Tone and Kush felt like you cheated them. Eventually, at some point, you started to pull me in. And before I knew it, everyone involved started beefing. You used to be someone I actually believed in. Now I can't believe it. I was too blind to have seen this. But what would you expect from someone who plays in a mud puddle? Think you need a hug, some love, but maybe mom's could be someone I actually believed in. Now I can't believe it. I was too blind to have seen he said he actually believed in. No, I never seen it. That name the truth. What would you expect from someone who plays in a mud puddle? I like how he's bringing up the mud puddle. He's got to be talking about Busy Boat next. Got to. 
because if you missed the whole mud puddle thing, it was uh with a little beef that I had with Busy Boat, which me and Busy Boat squashed. Uh, me and Busy Boat have settled, and I have nothing bad to say about Busy. That's our truce, and uh, Busy's my cool dope. Uh, let's hear what he's got to say. You need a hug, some love, but maybe mom's cuddles. How can one man possibly be? And I need his mom's cuddles. You're right, buddy. Bring your mom over here. I'll dick her down real good, son. <laughs> yeah, bring your mama to me. She likes, she thinks I'm pretty anyway. Think you need a hug, some love, but maybe mom's cuddles. How can one man possibly be so ridiculous? I've lost too many friends of this shit. Shout out to Nickel. What? Hook, maybe mom's cuddles. How can one man possibly be so ridiculous? Need a hug, some love, but maybe mom's cuddles. How can one man possibly be so ridiculous? I've lost How can what possibly be? Need a hug, some love, but maybe mom's cuddles. How can one man possibly be so ridiculous? I've lost too many friends of this shit. Shout out to Nicholas and all. He lost too many friends of the shit. Shout out to Nicholas. See, now he's trying to become friends with Busy Boat again. Oh, is he going to mention Cool Hand Luke? That's going to... <laughs> Boy. Cuddles, how can one man possibly be so ridiculous? I've lost too many friends of this shit. Shout out to Nicholas and all of this. It started because of a singing rapper. Supposed to make a movie, but ain't had a single actor. It all started. Uh, the bon drama and beef and country rap started because of singing rapper, guys. Oh, my God. This is so funny. And then uh, I started supposed to have a movie, but never could find a single actor. Yeah, I couldn't because everybody no, everybody wants to wants free shit, but they don't want to do the work. <sighs> Shit, shout out to Nicholas and all of this. It started because of a single hey, rapper. Supposed to make a movie, but ain't had a single actor. In the end, you ended up switching up like a switchblade. Only to discover my brother that you was bitch made. Don't worry. I ended up switching up. Hold on. So the movie, but ain't had a single actor. In the end, you ended up So he's talking about the movie. And I in the end I ended up switching like a switchblade. Because here's the thing. I'm working on a movie and it's behind the scenes and I do have the people that are going to do it and they're a hundred percent willing and we're working it out and I'm writing scripts and I'm getting everything ready. Right. When, and I told him about this, right. And he, and, he, and first thing out of his mouth is, Oh, you ain't going to invite me to it. Fuck. No, I ain't going to invite you to it, bro. You broke. How the fuck you going to leave PA to come down here? How the fuck you going to do anything, bro? You're, you're broke saying that I'm broke, but, you want to be in a movie that I'm doing. I'm just not fucking with y'all fools anymore. So let's go. Single actor. In the end, you ended up switching up like a switchblade. Only to discover my brother that you was bitch made. So he called me a bitch again. That's funny. Like a switchblade. Only to discover my brother that you was bitch made. Don't worry about me catching bars. You should practice writing them. Kind of like it wrong. He cannot catch bars. And yeah, I, I do write them. I got plenty of bars. He just, he's just a slick hater. He's my number one hater, and I love it. Discover my brother that you was bitch made. Don't worry about me catching bars. You should practice writing them. Kind of like your wrongs, dog. You should start writing them. The next time that you decide you're coming from my neck, receive a caution, motherfucker, to prevent from getting wrecked. What? Was bitch made. Don't worry about me catching bars. You should practice writing them. Kind of like your wrongs, dog. You should start writing them. The Kind of like my wrong dog. You should start writing them. Wow. Oh, let's write some wrongs. That's a whole bar, bro. That's that's a bar. Next time that you decide you're coming from my neck, proceed with caution, motherfucker, to prevent from getting wrecked. That's proceed with caution, motherfucker. Because what? Caution, motherfucker, to prevent from getting wrecked. To prevent from getting wrecked. You ain't well, wrecking shit. I'm glad that's done, and this is Rex's official reaction to uh, Kenny Reacts, Rex Disc Get Wrecked. The best part about this is if everybody wants to go ahead and look right now, if you look right here, you see this little tow truck, right? It, it's an old tow truck with a wrecking ball. I don't know what the deal with the big wrecking ball and the little wrecking ball on it is. That's just weird why you would multiply that but in in the world that uh 
well, shit, we're, we've been at this for 34 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and end this. In, in, a, in a real world, Kenny Reacts was a tow truck driver. Well, they call them heroes where I'm from, and I'm a repo man. They call us villains because tow truck drivers help people get back on their feet one, one tow at a time. Repo men help people get back on their feet one repo at a time. Uh, we're the bad guys. He's the good guy. I like the little tow truck thing, though. It's actually funny because my boss owns this exact tow truck. This is Rex with an official reaction to this shit song, and I want y'all to run his numbers up as much as possible because there is no receipts or evidence of nothing that he has said. Have a good day.